Um, my name is Devar Iran Ardalan, and I am with uh, Weekend Edition Saturday and Weekend Edition Sunday. Um, it's wonderful to be part of this seminar at the PRPD, and I'd like to thank uh, Sue and Julie for everything that they have done with the Maker's Quest project. Uh, it certainly has been a busy and exciting summer for us uh, when it comes to incubating these projects. I'd like to spend a few minutes to tell you a little bit about um, some of the projects that we have been incubating and also sort of what our philosophy is at Weekend Edition when it comes to interactive uh, media. At Weekend Edition, we certainly are very aware that public radio is changing. And in order for us to uh, survive, we certainly realize that we have to find new ways of interacting with our audience, especially on uh, online. So I'd like to just take a couple minutes to tell you about some of the projects that we've been working on this summer. Um, I'd like to begin by talking a little bit about Open Sound New Orleans. Um, that was a project that I fell in love with from the beginning because uh, literally by looking at the map of uh, New Orleans, you were able to click through uh, different facets of the city and the producers pretty much invited the whole community to collect these sounds and to pin them on this map. So it was very much a community-generated uh, project, and I think a wonderful example of how uh, public radio stations can uh, take and use this as a model for projects that they might be interested in doing in their cities. Then there was the Place and Memory project that highlighted places that no longer exist. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure that any one of you in this room have a memory of a place that uh, no longer exists. And so it, it has been wonderful seeing this project evolve and seeing um, NPR listeners and online audience sort of uh, participate and upload their own photos and stories about their uh, favorite place. This uh, series was kicked off with a piece about the Rabbit Hutch, a restaurant in Logan, Alabama, that cooked up rabbit. And um, it certainly was a wonderful radio piece and uh, had a great online component, again, where the listeners were able to uh, follow the story online and uh, interact and sort of uh, be able to generate their own memories and form a community around one place that no longer exists. And I think uh, by late October, um, Sue, Julie, and I and other uh, MQ2 participants uh, might have an opportunity to brainstorm and talk about the lessons that we have learned as, as part of this summer, you know, how much editorial uh, uh, time it took from Weekend Edition staff and production time to work with the producers, and in the same vein, uh, what it took from the independent producers to work with us, and be able to come up with some basic models on how much it costs to put a piece like this on the radio and on NPR.org, or more relevantly, on their own websites and be able to form models for future member station initiatives. The other project we did was Mapping Main Street, and that was a, a series about Main Streets all over the United States. Um, again, a really very successful and professionally done project. Uh, they documented their travels on a blog. They shot video. Their interactive map um, allows users to upload pictures, videos, and text about their own Main Streets. And of course, they took Weekend Edition to Main Streets. Uh, they by the end of the project, they will have taken us to three main streets across the country, um, like this one in Chattanooga. In Chattanooga, we have this underbelly, but we don't talk about it. So you can walk down Main Street, and you don't know that just over there, there's prostitutes, or just over there, there's a camp where people sleep in the woods at night. And finally, we incubated the Cyber Frequencies uh, project, and that has been uh, exciting to be witness to some of the exciting uh, technology news and gadgets that are out there that have been highlighted by the producers on Cyber Frequencies. 
I think what we walk away with is an understanding that uh, it's important for us to begin thinking uh, about these projects and to be able to think across both the digital and radio platform as we produce our documentaries and our big series. Uh, some of the some of us are doing that more than others, but I think these projects allow us to see what it takes to get audience interactivity and uh, what kind of response we're getting from our listeners. I think that in order to tap into these innovative ideas, we should uh, keep going with uh, the Maker's Quest project because I know that there are many other wonderful ideas out there that uh, we should continue to cultivate and incubate across uh, public radio.